Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you a gameplay of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team on my Nexus S running on DSoid. So here I have DSoid, I'm going to go ahead and open it, and I'm going to open Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team dot NDS. And now I'm reviewing and showing you a gameplay of this game because I believe that it runs fairly fast on DS, which is an application that does not run most games at full speed. And I believe that DS runs this game at a very good rate. I'm not going to say it runs it at 100%, but it runs it extremely smooth. So as you can see, these opening cinematics are fairly fast. They look like it's going at normal speed. And as well as the gameplay you'll see runs extremely fast. So I'll let you guys enjoy the opening cinematics for a bit and we'll go right into the review. Alright, so let's go into the game. So, I have saved data in Pokemon Blue Rescue Team, so I'm going to continue from where I started, just so I can show you guys the actual gameplay, because the beginning can be a little boring, because it was just me picking my character and whatnot. So here I am, I just completed my first mission in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, and I saved here at the first possible moment that I could save and I'm continuing here so you guys can see it so as you guys can see the text is running extremely fast and I haven't done anything in the options to change the text speed or anything so this is the game running at its full speed on DSoid so here I am gonna move around and it's running fairly quick and I want to show you guys a little tip if you're gonna play this game then I recommend that you click here click on game options and you change the controls to DS of course but that's already gonna be on touch screen on and top screen map alright so let's go back and you guys can see this game in action now this is a, f a very fun game to play and I honestly recommend that you guys check this game out if you have DSoid and you can play through it because it's a good game and it runs extremely fast on DSoid so you guys can experience the best play on DSoid so anyways guys I'm just gonna play here a little bit I'm done talking so enjoy the video Alright guys, I'm going to skip ahead to some other gameplay so you guys can see different parts of the game running and how they run differently. Alright, so here I am at my second mission at Thunderwave Cave and I'm going to show you some gameplay inside the cave which is where you spend most of the time in the game which is in caves and going through missions. Alright, so here I am in the first cave, and this is basically where you'll play most of the game moving around like this. Anyways, you guys can see that the game is running extremely great as I am here in battle, tackling this Ratatat to its knees so that I can defeat it and continue my way through the dungeon. Anyways, I'll continue to play, and you guys enjoy the rest of the video.
Alright guys, before I end this review and gameplay, a couple of notes here that if you guys are going to play this game, I recommend that you go into the menu by pressing B, then going to Others. When you go to Others, this is only when you're in a cave, go to Game Options, and click Dungeon, and turn the speed on to Fast. So right now I have it at Fast, I'm going to turn it on to Slow, and you're going to see how slow my character is going to move. So compared to how I was moving earlier, I am now moving fairly slow. So let me go through this little alleyway here, and you guys can see the speed I'm moving at. Now if I turn around and I change my speed here by going to Others, Game Options, and Dungeon, I will change my speed to Fast. Oh, no. And now when I go through this corridor here, you saw my speed. Anyways guys, that is Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. And one more thing that I'd like to add, this is on the Asoid Update 1.9.7. So you can save this game by clicking here and clicking save. And this will put a save in the save state because I know in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, you sometimes have to go through the whole cave to save the game so you can use these save states while you're in the caves so that you can sometimes stop in the middle of your play anyways to load a save state you just click load here thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video anyways if you would like to learn how to do this and get Nintendo DS games on your Android device like Pokemon Dungeon Blue Rescue Team then click on that green subscribe button as well as to join the operation, click on that green subscribe button. Anyways, follow me on Twitter for the latest news.